Just before Memorial Day, another service branch is taking action after a WUSA 9 investigation. We uncovered delays in getting reimbursement money to military spouses, and now the Marines say they're going to change that. Investigative reporter Laura Geller explains how this could help the families who are serving our country. If you're married to someone in the military, chances are you have to start over your career every time your family moves. And if you're in a field that requires a license or certification, you need to pay the cost to get new ones over and over and over again. Amsa Heck loved helping people find their new homes as a realtor in Pennsylvania. But when the Air Force moved her husband to Northern Virginia, starting her career over wasn't easy. So I had built a business by knowing people in an area that I had lived for a while. Um, and then we came here and I didn't know anyone. The couple added up the cost of taking classes, getting a new license, joining a new brokerage. They couldn't swing it. The Hex realized it would be too expensive for Amza to continue her realty career in Virginia. That made it very tough for us because we, we were both used to my having an income. I was used to contributing to the bills. We told you Congress passed a law to help with this very issue, allowing each service branch to reimburse military families for certain relicensing costs when they're moved. The law was negotiated back in 2017. When our original investigation aired three weeks ago, not one dollar had been paid. The Marines just put out specific instructions for how spouses can apply for the reimbursement. They joined the Army and the Air Force. All three took a year and a half to come up with policies. We now know payments in each branch will be retroactive. They'll reimburse spouses who have had to eat these costs in the time since the law passed. AMSA believes this is a way to support the husbands and wives who support our armed forces. I think that would have made a big difference because we, we would have found a way if that program had existed back then. Right now, the Navy is the only DOD branch without a program. A spokesman says they're still finalizing the policy and expect to announce in June. The Coast Guard has not responded to multiple emails about this issue. Laura Geller, WUSA 9. If you want to check out our original investigation with all the details of how we got here, just head over to WSA9.com.